Hello there. Welcome to a take in the Philippines. Don't forget to subscribe, ding dong, share and like. Uh, it's Sunday, lunchtime. I yesterday's video, Saturday's video, I was to conclude it. But we had a brownout, so um, everything stopped. No Wi-Fi. Back on now. Um, but to conclude yesterday's video, I was on about the the cost of the fence down that side and the cost of the fence along the bottom. Now it's very difficult to give a accurate cost going along the bottom because we got sidetracked by building the pig cesspit two sides of it, which took quite a lot of money in Rio Bar because it's heavier and quite a lot of cement because it's four inch thick instead of two inch. Uh, so adjusting for that and I can't be, we can't be accurate at all. We will overall when the fencing's done, I will give you some accurate figures. But the cesspit, the four panels for the cesspit and all the extra iron and cement, I'll still throw them figures out because that budget is with the piggery, not the fence. But um, I had a, a budget of 50,000 pesos to go along that bottom boundary. Now, we've spent, as best as we can say, 60,000 pesos on that bottom boundary. But if you take half the cost of the cesspit, which is part of the bottom boundary, we can be as low as 40,000 or as high as 60,000, depending how, how much we take off. So bear in mind my budget was 50,000 um, I think we've hit budget, um, 50,000 pesos. I think the lower, my gut feeling is the lower cost of 40,000 would account, would have put that fence up. But we've got, um, not 100% certain, we've got five or six days extra labour doing the cesspit on the bottom end of that boundary and the bottom end of this boundary. We've got um, double the cost of, of one load of VO bar, which is what went into the cesspit. So I can't be accurate, but between 40 and 60,000 is cost us for that bottom boundary. So my gut feeling is, it would have probably come in at between 40 and 50,000. So I'm under budget. I'm pretty certain I'm under budget for that fencing, if it was just fencing. So that's, that's the conclusion for yesterday's video. Uh, today, we've, we've, because there are no electric on site here, we went to Dano for breakfast. Um, and we did some shopping in Danau, and we're back on site now. So there's nothing happening, there's no workmen on site. Um, this afternoon I'll probably do some whippersnippering, I'm hoping if it cools down 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock I'll definitely go and knock the, the whippersnippering back. My plumbing's finished completely now from the hot water. Um, the hot water from the roof is gravity fed, so the mixer taps don't cope with it very well. The, um, the cold water under pressure sort of 
takes away all the hot water, pushes the hot water out because that's not pressurised. But tonight will be my first hot shower. Um, and the gravity fed from the roof, although it won't be perfect, it will still provide me with a hot shower. So I'll be very happy. Um, and we'll go down and have a look where they left off on Saturday with this fence. Uh, they couldn't finish. We, we did get water back on, so and the water seems to be right again now. We must have picked up a little pebble in the non-return valve. Um, and I'm quite happy with what they did on Saturday. They were a bit disappointed that they weren't finished down the bottom end. But they'll be finished Monday and they're relocating up the top here. Um, and they did a few extra jobs. They, they cut some, a couple of branches down off these trees. So yeah, they, they, they did a fair day's work. Um, we'll go and have a look and uh, see what we've got left down there. So the post poured, the last post is poured, and these footings are very deep because we're coming uphill again now. So there's quite a lot of concrete and work gone into these footings, as you can see. Now we've got three panels to pour. This is start shuttering up, all the wheels in. Um, so that's maybe three mixings, three bags of cement. Um, so they'll, fi they'll finish that Monday and start relocating up the top end. So it's more or less, more or less finished here. Um, we haven't decided yet what we're going to do with the piggery. If we go up there, 10 yard, we've got flatter ground and it will make the building a lot easier on flatter ground. They were saying to me initially that they wanted to build off this fence to save money. Um, and yes, we could do that and utilize the fence, but the amount of infill we're going to have to put in here to level the floor is going to be half to two thirds up that, that fence pan. So I don't think it would be cheaper building off the fence. I think it would be from where that red horse pipe is, if you can see it. I think it would be cheaper building on the flat bit. Um, we've still got a gradient, but maybe 18 inch at the bottom end. Um, so we had a discussion about it and um, I think the consensus was that they agreed with me it would be better, easier and therefore cheaper to build on the flat ground. But the final decision's not made, I've left the final decision with the builder. Um, which to me is a sensible thing to do because he does have experience with the building, I don't, and um, when you've got a fellow in charge, if you if you give him the authority to make decisions, they work a, it'll work a lot better for me, 
um, because he's made the decision and he'll make sure that decision works. Whereas if I make the decision and he gets to the other end and it's not working so well, he can turn around and say, well, that's the way you wanted me to do it. That's a bit of man management, isn't it? Um, if a fellow's in charge, let him be in charge. Now that means, all that means to me is what we will do with 10 yard of ground here, if we need to use it. You can utilise everything if, if that's what you want. I'm sure it will come in for something. Um, yeah, so that's, that's where we're at. This is finished on Monday and we're on the fence on the top end. Um, so I'm quite happy it's going quite well. So that's it for today's video and uh, we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time.